Hello viewers, welcome once again to my channel on Cut Africa Live, a channel that brings you insight of African politics and I'm always your guy, Digraft Amwako. I just came across a video of an European economist called Howard Nicholas who explained how and why the Western countries ensure Africa stays poor for the sake of survival of the developed world. Let's watch this video, I'll be back. What this presentation is fundamentally designed to say is this. Africa historically, Sub-Saharan Africa, has been fundamental to the global prosperity of the advanced countries. Okay? And Africa had a role to play. It has a role as a raw material producer. We will not allow Sub-Saharan Africa to escape that. Okay? We do everything to keep Sub-Saharan Africa where it is, also impoverished. It's absolutely vital for the prosperity of everyone else. So let's get clear about that. Okay, and this means all the economic structures, all the global institutions, and the economics we teach everyone is all designed to keep Africa exactly where it is. And whether it is Europe or US or now China, it's always the same. We need Africa to be impoverished because we need those raw materials and we need them dirt cheap. Okay, so that's the message. It doesn't mean to say that there's nothing Africans can do. Of course there is. Okay, but this is the opposition that they're fighting. This is what it's about. Because if Africa does do something different, I assure you, living standards of all those in Europe and North America and Asia is going to fall. Okay? And that is a big price to pay. I assure you that the West is not going to allow that without a big fight. <laughs> Interesting. You know, this is not something I think most Africans don't know. We know most Western countries enjoy seeing Africa impoverished so that they can survive. You know, this whole thing is a survival chain. And sometimes I don't blame the Western countries for taking decisions that will benefit them and help them to survive. I have always say, say this in my previous videos that in this world everybody is fighting for his or her survivor so if some countries or some continent decide to screw other continent to survive they will call it smart and they are using their their willpower to make sure they build a great future for their citizens so it's up to Africans to also to take decisions that will help us survive. You know, this thing is not in a, it's not, how should I put it? It's not something we have to even keep on going back and forth. So our leaders, the modern leaders were supposed to sit up and say, yes, this is what is happening to Africans. This is why African countries hasn't been developed and this is the, what is affecting Africans. So let's come together. Let's sit on the table and also re-strategize how we can also implement how we will survive. That was supposed to be simple as ABC. But somehow, these Western countries has bought most of African leaders and they are now puppets. So they can't take decisions that will help their country. Recently, Ghana was struggling when it comes to foreign exchange. Their coffers became empty because they didn't have enough foreign exchange, which is the US dollars. So it also it even pushed them to implement the policy of gold for oil. That was the recent Ghana government. They have to implement the, 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 the gold for oil policy. And at the end of the day, Recently, they find out one of the, the Ghana minister, sanitation minister, 
is holding is 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 he has hurt more than almost two million U.S. dollars in her in her house. And the funny thing is, it has been stolen by her house help. Her house help, who, he, he, who is just 17 years girl, has been able to steal almost two million dollars to buy houses, to buy cars with his girl. I think his boyfriend or his family. So have you have you seen how it works? Sometimes we are going to blame the Western countries for fighting for their survivor. Sometimes we have to also blame ourselves for not doing enough and being corrupt, not to take decisions. That will also fight for our survivor. It was supposed to be simple as ABC. These people are doing this for their survivor. Okay, now, now that we have found out, what are we also going to do to, for our survivor? What are we going to do for our survivor? But we keep going back and forth, and at the end of the day, we keep complaining about Western countries. Yes, they have done bad things. They have done from slavery to all the things they have done to Africa. It's very bad. But we can't always be pointing fingers at them if we are not also taking decisions that will also help us to protect ourselves. They are fighting for the, their survival. We have to fight for our survival. We have to implement policies that will help our citizens to thrive. We are in the modern world and things are changing. So we have to think smart. We have to think smart. We don't have to go back and forth with what uh, Mr. Nicholas Howard says has been said and it has been revealed. All this secret has been revealed by many Africans. But at the end of the day, what happens? There is nothing happening. We keep going back and forth, talking, and no decision has been taken. So it's about time African leaders, we sit down and, you know, discuss what and what can be done to help push this continent forward. That's what we need. That's what we need. And I think if we are able to sit together, trade together, do things together, no one can come in front of us to come and screw us. Or no one can have an agenda to come and mess us up. We are going to be one of the best continent and we are going to be one of the strongest continent on this, on this planet. Please, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button so that anytime I upload any new content, you will be notified. Thanks for watching.